So here we are in Dunedin, been here a week on safari. Caesar got one surf session, but as you can see behind me, it's an onshore washing machine mess. And the nationals are on here at the moment. You might be able to see the kids in the water there. There's some groms surfing some heats in these awful conditions. I feel so sorry for them. So no surf for me in Dunedin, sadly, despite being here a whole week. And it's freezing cold, so next stop, Catlins. Curio Bay is just around the corner. There's surf, but it's so cold and so windy. There are a couple of people surfing over there behind me, but the wind's blowing them off the waves and it's not really peeling very well. So I get fussy when it gets this windy, but you know, we came, we saw, we tried, <laughs> kind of. Maybe not hard enough, but yeah, that's a hard pass for me. But it's not beautiful and look, we're almost I mean we're not the only people on the beach but this is the peak of summer except they <clears throat> cancelled summer and forgot to tell us and peak of tourist season here in the Catlins and there's hardly anyone here it's stunningly beautiful <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this it's really windy and it's cold but there's really good surf this accommodation that we're staying in is right on the beach and we're just looking at all these beautiful lefts peeling so I'm going to try and get one. Pray that I don't get hypothermia in this freezing southern ocean. Here goes. west from Invercargill for about a half hour drive you come to a place called Aparima or Riverton and Riverton Rocks which is just over that way and this is just on the other way um, well there's a whole series of right hand point breaks around here so I checked Magic Seaweed Surf Report for this spot before we left Invercargill we're just staying for a couple of nights there and Magic Seaweed said it was really big five to eight foot and this spot needs a big swell for it to get in and for it to work, so here we are. As you can see, they were rather optimistic. I think five to eight inches might actually be more accurate. Maybe Magic Seaweed has some issue with their uh, measurements. <laughs> so it's just about half past eight in the morning, well after dawn. Dawn is so early here. I don't know if you can see the tiny little lines and see the potential of this place so sad that there's no swell for us today but it's a really beautiful place in the middle of summer though and it's freezing cold i mean we need four three wet suits booties hats gloves the works for this one
behind me is Lake Pukaki and I don't know if you can see in the distance just peeking out above the top of the clouds New Zealand's tallest mountain Aoraki or Mount Cook you can just see the summit today isn't the colour of that water amazing Thank you.